Hey, welcome back to Real Food Blog. Excited about this episode. We've done this before with my grandma's Spanish rice. Just want to always try to shorten these videos. So basically what we have, we have any type of cooking oil, whether you're using canola or vegetable oil, a, a coat at the bottom of a, a skillet, okay? It's set over medium heat right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a half uh, an onion, okay? Whether it's a yellow onion, or a white onion, it doesn't matter. Okay, but preferably yellow or white for this, just because it's my grandma's recipe. Hi, Avery. All right, and then we're gonna put in about seven cloves of chopped garlic. Now, that's what my grandma used to do. If you don't like garlic and haven't used that much, that's what she did, that's what I'm doing, okay? And then we've got, and we don't let it saute up very long. Oh, thank you, Avery, for seasoning the floor. It needs that. Okay, we don't want it saute very long at all. And we're going to put in about a cup of long grain white rice. Okay. We're going to put a little bit of salt in to this. Okay. As well. And then we're going to add about a half a cup of the 8 ounce tomato sauce. Any kind, any brand, it doesn't matter. Okay. So about a half a cup can of that. Then we're going to add in two cups of chicken stock, okay? And then we're going to let this come up to a boil. Once it comes up to a boil, we're going to turn it to low, okay? Like a low simmer for about 15 minutes, no peaky. You want to stir it before you put the cover on and then you're gonna cover it, okay? And then 15 minutes later, you check on it. It should be ready at that time. We'll show you that. And then you just take a fork to it to pluck the rice, right? Okay? And then you're ready to go. This is my grandma's Spanish rice. It's pretty simple. And we'll show you, right, Avery? We'll show you what the end result looks like, right, baby? <laughs> All right, right here next on Real Food Blog. All right, welcome back to Real Food Blog and check out my grandma's Spanish rice. See what's going on with this. Oh yeah. And you can tell it's perfect. It just needs to be fluffed, right? And if you've got it, what you do now, after you fluff it, you just let it, put the cover back on, let it sit five more minutes, and then you can serve it. Uh, Avery loves this rice, and this is probably one of the main dishes we always have, right? Anyway, th thank you for watching Real Food Blog from our family to yours, Avery, right? We'll see you next time, right here on Real Food Blog.